Is chemistry field dying in our country? The answer to that question is no. It is not dying, rather it is growing exponentially. But then why do freshers struggle to get jobs in the chemistry industry? Now, there are multiple reasons and the reason we will address later. Let me first tell, give you some proof of why the chemistry industry will never die. Let's talk about the petrochemical industry, which is of course the hydrocarbons. The entire world and the entire economy depends on petrol, diesel. And of course, it is not going out of fashion. So of course, the petrochemical industry is growing. Coming to paints, chemicals, organic chemicals, as well as uh, inorganic chemicals, it is not dying. From, right from polyethylene to Teflon, everything is growing. Now let's come to the pharma. Is pharma growing? Yes, pharma companies constitute a trillion dollar industry. India's pharma industry is a uh, is the back door of the world, right? So having said that, none of the chemistry companies are going down, okay? Whether it is BASF or uh, Bharat Biotech or any company in chemistry, pharma and biotech, they are not dying. But it is incredibly difficult for freshers to get in because freshers are targeting jobs which is not a mass employment generator. For example, if I have to give you a job, I have to invest 10 crores in a wet lab. Now, that is why to employ 10 people, I have to invest 10 crores. That is why the wet lab chemistry jobs are less. While the dry lab chemistry jobs are mass employment generators. Now, what are those? You have chem informatics, you have uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning in chemistry. How do the molecules are docking? learning all of that, the molecular dynamic simulation, all of this is inside computers. So when you merge two technologies like IT and chemistry, so the chem IT world is exploding with growth and opportunities. But freshers are not looking that side, they're looking this side. So they're saying it's too much crowded, I won't get a job here. But that side there is no um, uh, crowd, right? So you have to target something which is a mass employment generator. But please don't get in unless it excites you or you are passionate about it. But yes, it, once you get in that direction, you get jobs easily. And you are getting uh, in the existing field also, you will get a lot of jobs. And uh, I have been telling a lot of people also on my uh, channel that you will, the AI will not replace chemistry professionals, but AI powered chemistry professionals will replace non-AI powered chemistry professionals. So the time has come to learn AI ML in chemistry and pharma. And how do you do that? You have our Rasainika's platform. We have AI ML in drug discovery and chem informatics available as an internship. You can take that details in the comment section. All the best.